Hi guys, it's Andy from Nismo Tech and in this video we're going to be taking a look at a mouse from the guys over at Penclick. This is the B3 and as you can see looking at it, it's not your conventional mouse in any way. It's very much shaped like a pen. So there's a particularly good reason for that and that is if you suffer from repetitive strain injury or carpal tunnel or you get a lot of pain in your wrist when, when using a normal mouse this is one that's been specifically designed for yourself. So it's called the uh, the Mouse B3. It's a wireless uh, mouse. There is um, a slightly cheaper corded version, which I've already done a review of, uh, called the, the D3, which you'll find uh, down below in the description and on the website nismotech.com as well. Um, but we're, we're sort of quite grateful that they've sent along the wireless version uh, for me to have a look at. So um, it's a left and right hand design, and like I said, it's very much shaped like a pen. Um, we've got quite a bit of information on here. So we've got a, a two year warranty. I don't know if you can quite see that. So I'll see the, the white mouse and, and the clear packaging. Uh, we've got PC and Mac capability. Um, it has 800 to 1600 DPI uh, on a setting. You've also got the three mouse buttons on there and a scroll wheel, and it's got a built-in rechargeable battery. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go and take it out of the box and have a look and see what you get. And then we're gonna connect it up, use it, give it a trial, see what it performs like and what it feels like, um, and give you my thoughts in a moment. Okay, so we're now going to go and get the B3 out of the packaging. And in order to do that, you need to give it a slight twist and a bit of a tug. And the top section comes off and you get a little uh, compartment down on the bottom here. Uh, inside, you do have a very, very nice pouch to keep your uh, mouse inside. And also inside here, we have got a retractable micro USB cable for charging the device. And we've got a AAA uh, rechargeable battery. We have got a, a sort of technical specification, um, but when I looked at that earlier, it's just basically a little bit of guidance in terms of like how to use a battery properly, etc. etc. Uh, et uh, and then you have got your user guide. Now, the only problem is, as you can see with the packaging and the fact that everything is round, is that the manual does become a little bit tricky. Um, <coughs> Essentially, it just shows you here how to, to actually use it correctly, how to position it. Um, and I see you've got a little bit of information as to how to, to go about connecting everything up, uh, which I'll show you in a moment. So we'll go and pop that little bit of uh, information and that one back in the box. And then we've got this here. So you do have to give this plastic bit a bit of a twist. And we can lift that up and we can reveal the mouse so let's just get it out of this little section here it's a bit tricky to kind of get it out but i think we just got it. there we go so here we go this is the pen click b3 bluetooth wireless connection mouse and as you can see it is very much shaped and styled like a pen with a base down at the bottom here so i'll see you have still got your scroll wheel, as you can hopefully see right there. You've also got a mouse click there and a mouse click there. So you have got your right and your left and your scroll wheel. So that is still all available to you. Um, but also we've got this sort of socket and ball type motion that goes into the base of the unit, uh, which gives it this kind of movement and flexibility. So that part there, whilst you stay, in fact, I'll just adjust the camera there. Um, that part there will just obviously stay still. Um, it can move around as well, but you can see that as you're kind of moving the pen and moving the mouse pointer, it's just going to flow so much more freely. And you're then able to sort of keep your arm straight and in a good, comfortable position to be able to use this. And obviously, the way that it's, it's sort of designed, it's extremely lightweight. Um, and you've got various different ways to, to actually kind of hold on to the pen. Um, you can also use your thumb to click onto the button as well as you know your fingers there as well so you can it, it really does open up a lot of opportunities for those that suffer with carpal tunnel uh, repetitive strain injury to, to use a mouse comfortably in the style and shape of this pen really is a fantastic design and I've still got the D3 I, I do actually use the D3 um, on quite a regular basis um, but now that I've got the wireless version 
just obviously means that you haven't got any wires and you, you can obviously just take it away and just pop it to one side once you've finished using it. So on the bottom we have got a micro USB charging port down here that's obviously going to charge the rechargeable battery. Uh, we've got an on and off button down at the bottom here as well um, and I'll see your battery compartment and you've got your connect button in here as well. So we're going to go and plug the battery in, get it charged up and get it connected onto the PC. Okay, so I've now been charging the B3 up overnight. Uh, it's fully charged, ready to go and start to use. Uh, just want to point out down at the bottom here, because one thing I didn't point out uh, a little bit earlier, you've actually got another switch here, which is your DPI switch. That's going to change it between 800 uh, DPI when it's in the minus mode, or if you want the mouse to move around the screen a lot quicker, 1600 DPI, uh, you move it upwards on there. So you've obviously got your connect button down at the bottom here, and you have got your on and off. The other thing to point out as well, one thing that I did notice that when uh, using the uh, charge cable, and obviously charging the uh, device, plugging that in was a little bit, sort of tricky um it's not the uh in my opinion the best of design it, it just takes a little bit of practice to actually get it into uh into the hole there unfortunately um but once you get used to it it's not a problem at all um so obviously it's off at the moment i'm just going to go and switch that on and you see that we have got a blue light that just sort of flashes a little bit um press the connect button and hold that down and then the blue light on top There we go, it's actually starting to flash a little bit more. Hopefully you can see that. Um, the other thing, um, and it's one thing that I'm a little bit disappointed about, to be fair. Obviously, this connects via Bluetooth. Um, most computers don't necessarily actually have Bluetooth. I personally don't have Bluetooth on my computer. So what I'm going to have to do is connect it up to uh, my old laptop. Um, so I'm going to give it a bit of a try on the laptop for the next week or so, see how we, we, we kind of get on uh, with that. But I'm also going to go and have to go and buy a, a little Bluetooth USB uh, dongle to go into the PC to connect it up that way. Um, so it would have been really, really good if they actually included a, a little Bluetooth uh, dongle for your computer to actually connect this up um, so a little bit disappointed uh, with that um, so what we're going to do we're going to connect it up to the laptop I'm going to show you how to pair it how to connect it uh, give you a little bit of a demonstration um, and then like I said we're then going to go and give it a bit of a trial um, I've already like I said used the, the wide version so I know all about this as well um, I know how good it actually is um, so yeah let's go and connect it up to the laptop Okay, so we're now going to go and connect it up. I'm using Windows 10, so I'm just going to go down to the search bar, type in uh, Bluetooth uh, to get your Bluetooth settings to appear. Um, I'm not going to switch it on quite yet. What I'm going to do is just go and turn the mouse on. There we go. So that's now turned on. So we're just going to turn that on there. And we're going to go and press and hold the connect button for a few seconds. There we go, and hopefully that will find the mouse. Okay, so that is now connected and powered up. I'm actually moving uh, the mouse pointer around using this here. So what I'm going to do is just up the DPI setting. There we go, you can actually see that that's actually moving it around now going through that um, so yeah that's basically how you go and pair it up so I'm gonna go and have a, a little bit of a play see what it's like to, to actually use this version and give you my final thoughts in a moment okay so I've now been using the b3 from Penclick for a couple of hours on my laptop just uh, sort of browsing around on the internet as I've already mentioned I have already uh, used the d3 which is the wide version of this and there will be uh, a link down below uh, to that review as well so I'm pretty pretty familiar uh, in terms of how this mouse operates and, and how you can actually use it. Um, the fact that it hasn't got a wire makes it a little bit easier. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say that it's it, perform, it, it doesn't really kind of perform any better. It just makes it a lot easier in terms of uh, sort of, especially when you're, you're moving it around your desk, uh, you're not going to sort of snag on any of the, the cables from it. So that's obviously a good plus point whether or not it's worth the sort of 20 to 30 pound upgrade uh, to, to go wireless is a bit debatable uh, especially as it's not got that uh, bluetooth uh, dongle 
uh, to and now allow it to uh, connect it onto the PC. I think if that was included, uh, that would definitely make it worthwhile. Um, but in terms of using the mouse, obviously, like I've already mentioned, you have got a mouse button there and also one on that side. And you can also go into your control panel and configure whether you want to use it as right or left handed. And you've also got that scroll wheel in the middle. Um, it is extremely comfortable to use, it does take some time to get used to it, um, especially if you are used to, to using the normal mouse um, but certainly once you've got used to this thing um, it really does help and obviously being able to sort of uh, keep your wrist in, in a certain position so it doesn't hurt you um, and also still be able to use the mouse is, is definitely a plus point with this uh, sort of Swedish design and, and the way that they've actually gone about it um, it means that, that, that those of you that have got carpal tunnel on RSI um, it means that you can also still use a computer and you're not going to get as much pain as you would with a conventional mouse. Um, the one thing as I, I still experience with, with both versions of the mouse is that um, double clicking on here is, is pretty difficult to actually do to be honest. Um, I've got more and more used to it as, as the weeks and months have gone on since I looked at the the, uh, the, the, the wired version um, but certainly double clicking can be a little bit tricky to do. Um, but like I said it's so comfortable to use. I actually use this when I'm doing a bit of photo editing now instead of using my mouse. Um, so certainly for me for that because I don't sort of suffer too much with, with the pain in the wrist um, as, as some people do. Um, but certainly for using it for that it's, it's really good. Um, so I would thoroughly recommend this product if you do suffer from carpal tunnel and uh, RSI it is certainly going to help. Um, so like I said, there will be links down below uh, in the video description to my other review video that I've done for PenClick. Uh, and there will also be links to availability to where you can go and find out the latest price uh, and availability on Amazon to this as well. I hope you did like the video and hopefully um, for those of you that may suffer with pain in your wrist, it may obviously help you. Um, but for now it's Andy from Lismotech and I'll look forward to seeing you in my next video.